Sports, and thanks for joining us on this fine Thursday afternoon. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. Already it's February. Let's see how the East is matching up. Taking a look at Toronto, they've managed to crawl down to the ninth best record in the conference. And I think for Toronto, they've been strong at times this season, but they still have some holes. I think they're a playoff caliber team. I just don't think they're a championship caliber team. This has been the thought all along. They have enough to compete night in and night out, but they're not taking four out of seven from a top team in this league. No way. Now, we'll look at Dallas's starting lineup. Doncic and Hardaway at the two and the three. Porzingis is out there with Powell, and it's Brunson in at the one. And for Toronto, Van Vliet and Lowry are the one and the two. Ananobi out the out there with Aaron Baines. And it's Trent in at the small forward. Van Vliet looking around. And now that we have some time away from it, Steve, how strange and wild were the NBA playoffs in the bubble? You know, Kevin, having players see each other in hallways while going to battle later that night was definitely different, spending that much time together. We'll eventually look back and view it as one of the most interesting times in the NBA history. Now, here's Doncic. Count it. And, and guys, the intelligence is evident. When, when the pick comes, Doncic often makes the right read. Van Vliet against Brunson. Van Vliet kicks to Baines. Off target from outside. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Rick Carlisle gave me a few minutes to catch up with him. He talked about how Kyle Lowry still serves as the engine for this team. Coach says, you know that cliche, cut off the head, the body will die? That's still the deal with Lowry. You need to slow him down so the rest of the team can't get going. The logic is sound. The execution will be tougher. Guys? Thanks so much, David. He's just adept at gutting the defense in these sets. Give Doncic a passing lane, and he'll thread the needle. Shooter, incredibly productive. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Six on the shot clock. Lowry. Four shots, four misses, and you can sense a certain frustration building. The three for Doncic. Drills it from outside. Doncic has got five now. And love how much Doncic believes in himself. It shows when he shoots off the pass like that. Here's Van Vliet. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. Building up a big early lead, they have taken charge of this game. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. So, timeout called here, the first for Toronto. Defeated by the Wizards in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, in that one, the shot selection wasn't terrible, but... They had to tighten it up. That did not happen. They never really got into a rhythm, despite trying a few different things. Sometimes, it's just not your night. Now here's Van Vliet. With an average of around 19 and a half points a game, his scoring has been a constant for them. And the basket by Lowry. Lowry is just a ball of muscle out there. He has no problem taking a hit like that and still finishing. In the first and you look over the course of Kyle Lowry's career he's bounced around for quite some time but boy has he found a home in Toronto and you know GA a few summers back had a chance to leave but he stayed with the Toronto Raptors what a decision that was reason why he helped lead this team to their first title Kyle Lowry's been loved by this franchise he'll go down as one of the all-time great Raptors Mavericks leading by six. 
And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in, Hardaway with a wide open look. And the three ball is good. Hardaway has got his second basket. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. The pass to Baines. Here's on an over. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Here's Lowry. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on Luka Doncic. Almost impossible not to fall for Lowry's shot fake. The way he sells his shooting motion is just very effective in getting the defense off the ground. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Two shots. First free throw is good. You know the universal theme to Lowry's game. It's toughness. Mentally and physically, he tries to wear you down. He hits both from the strike. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Lowry against Doncic. A floater. Rebound by the Raptors. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. Brunson with it. Picked up by Van Vliet. Brunson, good. Oh, great ball movement there. Raptors trail by nine. And here's Lowry. 29 points for him last game against Washington. Van Vliet wide open. And the Raptors miss again. The defense was begging him to take that shot, and he took the bait. But you can't blame him. And so it's Perzingis. He'll bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Runs in the pass to Powell. Outside Hardaway. Passes it to Powell. And despite that miss, a strong start for them offensively. Those three pointers off the mark. Cleet, he is tough and he's aggressive. Mavericks leading by seven. Now Doncic, he has five. Pass to Powell. And Brunson has it in the corner. Here's Doncic. Basket good. Doncic has got seven points. The Raptors have gotten just three of their first nine shots to go down in this game. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Aaron Baines. That's foul number two for him. Ken Burks has checked in for Aaron Baines. So for Dallas, their last game, a loss to Philadelphia. I mean, in the modern era, you have to be able to stretch the floor or you're going to struggle. Reason why, that opens up driving lanes, makes it dangerous for teams to double you in the post. The offense becomes more dynamic. Five on the clock. Dallas needs to get off a shot. No one near Doncic as he lets it fly. And a miss there on the triple. Here's Trent. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. He's heady, he's unselfish. All Van Fleet does is make winning plays. For Toronto, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. One shot. Here's Doncic. He's got seven. Out left of the wing. Brunson finds Doncic. Puts up a three. They get the rebound. Powell, that's good. Powell's got his second bucket. 
And, and that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Now here's Van Vliet. Pass to Trent. Ananobi with it. Porzingis with the block. And, and with his length, Porzingis can be very disruptive on D. Not easy to get the shot off over that huge frame. Timeout. Defensively, Timeout. they've been a step slow Sorry. here to start. And the Raptors call time here. Greg, you showed toughness and grit when you played. You've got to succeed in this league with those things at the forefront, right? Being tough, being gritty. And there are several players uh, whose style you admire that play like them. I mean, no doubt about it. it, it you have the superstars, the, the Kawhis, the LeBrons, who continue to do it. They, they can intimidate you physically, uh, but they also provide tremendous skill set. Uh, but two other guys, Russell Westbrook, Jimmy Butler, they're, they're also oh, guys yes. that exemplify. People didn't project him to be what they've become, and it's impressive to watch them take the four night in and night. Now here's Paul. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. On an OB, it's hauled in by Persingas. Persingas has got four rebounds in this game. And there's the foul. It's on Chris Boucher. That's his first foul. And the Mavericks with some changes. And comes in for Dwight Powell. And it's Burke in for Jalen Brunson. Now, here's Doncic. Last game out, we saw him pour in 42. So reliable. They've really leaned on him at the offensive end. Here's Ananobi. It's hauled in by Richardson. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Singus passes to Burke. Doncic against Van Vliet. Count that bucket. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. And he dunks it down. Seven foot two wingspan. OG Ananobi throwing it down. And it's Burke with the ball for Dallas. It's a 10 point game. The pass to Richardson. Now here's Cauley Stein. To the inside, Doncic. A beautiful reverse layup. And that's 13 points for Luka Doncic. Man, he has been locked in this quarter, shouldering the load at the offensive end. Passes it to Boucher. Back to Van Vliet. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. Here's Lowry. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, here you sit, Smitty, at the broadcast table. Is there anything you notice about the game now that you didn't notice when you were playing? Yes, Kevin. I mean, seriously, I did not know how much Kevin Harlan ate between <laughs> games and during games. It is unreal. The before, the during, and after. You are a champ, Kevin, to be able to eat that much and to do your job. <laughs> He throw good. Lowry, J.J. Reddix checked in for Dallas. And so Lowry nails both of them. Mavericks leading by 10. Now, here's Burke. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And Van Vliet picks one up. Dallas shooting their first free throws of this one. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Burke hits them both. And the Raptors with the ball. Here's Lowry. Great D that time from Reddit. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Dallas, no good that time either. Raptors trail by 12. Lowry's shot is good. Lowry's got eight. 
And if you're the coach, you love to see this. Ananobi creating for someone else. Here's Richardson. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against the 76ers in Philadelphia. With the floater. Fast break Toronto. Rozingas with the steal. The dish to Burke. Here's Cauley Stein. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. They had been excellent so far. Coming in with a well-balanced attack. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Taking things into his own hands this quarter. Trying to keep his team afloat. Dallas leading by 10. Richardson outside. Out to Porzingis. Cloak loose. Stolen by Van Vliet. Outside Lowry. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. 12 points for him. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. And so here is Dallas. Richardson with it. That one's off. He starts the game with a miss. It's tipped. Here's Van Vliet. He's always been a tremendous defender, in my opinion, and he knows he's going to knock down his free throws. But now Fred Van Vliet has emerged as a terrific all-around scorer. He can pretty much do it all. The Raptors shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. And some changes here for the Raptors. Stanley Johnson, he's checked in for Kem Birch. Rodney Hood comes in for OG Ananobi. And DeAndre Bembry's subbed in for Kyle Lowry. The Mavericks also with a sub. Finney Smith's checked in. And so Van Vliet nails both of them. So it's the Mavericks now. Six-point lead. Burke looking over the floor. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. First free throw is good. The Raptors making a switch here. Burch is checked in. That one is no good. Raptors trail by seven. Inside, Van Vliet, and he finishes nicely on the layup. Van Vliet's got eight points. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Pass to Reddit. Shot clock at six. This one for three. Finney Smith can't get it to go. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. And breathe the pass to Birch. Puts the move on. He lays it in. Now just a three-point Maverick lead. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. 
Her kicks to Finney Smith. From outside, off the mark. The Raptors shooting well right out of the gates here at around 50%. Another field goal for him. Four for six shooting tonight. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. And it's Burke with the ball for the Dallas Mavericks. 26 seconds left in the first. Richardson the pass to Burke. Here's Reddick. From past the arc, Birch grabs the board. Here's Bembry. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And a wide open look for Hood. And trying for the go ahead basket, it doesn't go in. It's been all about Luka Doncic for the Dallas Mavericks. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen here, guys, from the Mavericks. Uh, throughout the first quarter, they did a great job of just running the offense. Credit the game plan coming in. They've identified the right matchups, and the execution is there. And here is Burke on the court for Dallas here in the second. They've got Willie Cauley-Stein. J.J. Redick is out there with Trey Burke. Then it's Josh Richardson, and it's Finney Smith in at the four spot. Now, here's Burke. Not a lot of room. Outside, Reddick. Over Hood. And that's Rodney Hood. He can do it on offense, and he can do it on the defensive end. Here's Bembry. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. The Mavericks trailer. Now Burke. Has to finish Smith. Here's Bembry. Here's Johnson. The second chance effort. Hood. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. Maverick shooting here about 46% for the game. Burke, the pass to Cauley Stein. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors will take it the other way. In the second half of February now, the power rankings have lots of statistical analysis to pull from. Taking a look at Portland, they couldn't hold their position this week, but remain in the top ten. And you know for the Raptors, they're still sorting out their roster, trying to find a way to unlock their full potential in a holding pattern, if you will. And that could change, though, at any moment. Now here's Johnson following the miss by Rodney Hood. Greg, if you're a small market team, how do you convince stars that you've drafted and developed to stay and re-sign? It's a great question, Kevin. I actually think in a lot of ways it's easier today because you can be box office. You can be a, a superstar in a small market and have the name recognition uh, because of the era we, we play in. And so I, I think the biggest way to keep them there is to build a championship caliber team around them. I think that is your saving grace. If you can prove to them that you can build a championship caliber team, I don't really think that there is a reason to want to leave. That's a solid blueprint. And the Raptors making a change here. Trent's checked in. And then for Dallas. Powell, he's checked in for Willie Cauley-Stein. Tim Hardaway Jr. comes in for Richardson. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Burke. And both free throws good for Johnson. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Mavericks trail by three. 
Brunson kicks to Powell. And the pass to Hardaway. Fires the three. But they recover it. Second shot opportunity and misses it off the right side of the rim. Easy chance from mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And here's a look at some numbers for him. And the biggest takeaway when you look at his numbers is how good his three-point shooting has been the past five games. He's finding the open spots on the perimeter, and when he's getting good looks, boy, he is Take not missing. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Both free throws, good from Hood. Rodney Hood has good size at six foot eight. Really uses his frame well to get his shots off. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Brunson finds Powell. Here's Finney Smith. He's guarded by Johnson. Here's Hardaway. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. The Mavericks have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. And the Mavericks making a change here. Doncic has checked in. That free throw good from Hardaway. Here's Trent. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Washington. And it wasn't just the points. He brought hustle. He brought energy. And he brought it on the glass. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Anjic passes to Brunson. Now here is Hardaway. He's got a letter. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. For Dallas, they have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. First one falls for him. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. We are having a lot of success from the line here in the second quarter. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive stop. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. And so here is Dallas after the Raptors pick up two. Anjic passes to Finney Smith. And here is Powell. Dallas moving the ball around. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. And he knocks down the first one. Oh. 
that one falls, so he hits both of them. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. Here's Bembry. This is to Johnson. Hood for three, and Stanley Johnson is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. For Dallas, they've gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter, going just one for five. To the paint. Powell, that's good. Powell's got the game tied up here for the man. That's just good basketball. Can't ask for a better look. And a five-star recruit coming out of high school. Powell had an excellent college career, yet he fell to the second round of the draft. Didn't even hear his name called as he was selected during a commercial break. How about the concentration? He gets hit but stays with the play and gets the finish. And G.A., even when he did arrive to the NBA, it took Powell a while to latch on. You know, traded a couple times in his first year. He was assigned and recalled 10 times in about a month with Boston's D-League affiliate. Finally found a home in Dallas. Everything turned around from that point forward. And the Raptors making a change here. Boucher is checked in. And it took them a while to find their touch at the line, but they have been red hot here in the second quarter. Passes it to the Bembry. Rocket six, Hood for three. That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. And when he gets right into his motion, tough to impact that shot from Hood. Now here's Brunson, guarded closer. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Toronto trailing. Here's Trent, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. First one falls. Some changes for Toronto. Ananobi, he's checked in for Stanley Johnson. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Bemper. And Dallas also making a switch. Prozingis is checked in. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for Dallas. They host the Spurs after this one. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Porzingis with the block. Pass break, Dallas. Doncic leading the charge. Hardaway, no good. Well, he was in rhythm, hitting two threes in the opening quarter, but hasn't made one since. That's to Hood. Pass to Ananobi. Just five to shoot. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. Brunson against Lowry. Hardaway, that's a two-pointer. Gets an open look and hits. Hardaway has got seven now in this quarter. For Toronto, they've gone four of ten in the second quarter from the field. Here's Hood, and he uses both hands to jam it in. When Hood takes off toward the rim, get out of the way. Love the passion he plays with. 
Donjic with it. He's got 13. Launches it. But they'll get another chance. The pass to Powell. Tries again. The Mavericks rebound. And finally they hit one. Powell's got eight points. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. The shot by Lowry, no good. The Mavericks leading. And the foul called on OG and an OB. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. Now coming into the lead with immense potential, Porzingis has already fulfilled much of it, already an all-star. But you know, Greg, there are still areas he's working on. Yeah, he, he's definitely getting stronger and, and more physical. You'd like to see him make the next pass a little more often when a teammate has a better shot. But if he can just stay healthy, boy, the sky's the limit on what he can accomplish. Dallas has gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Brunson, good. He's got 11. And how about the vision there from Doncic? Can make the easy pass and also the difficult one. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. No question he got bumped on that shot. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. And you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. Shooting two. Free throw good, Van Vliet. So Van Vliet nails both of them. The Mavericks have gone 7 of 15 from the field here in the second quarter. Just under 50% shooting. Doncic kicks to Porzingis. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got four assists in the game. I, I don't think we'll ever see another 7-foot-3 player who can drain the three like Porzingis. He, he takes the idea of that inside-outside threat to a whole nother level. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. And it's a seven-point Dallas lead. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. Passes to Boucher. Brunson against Van Vliet. Misses from close range. Dallas has gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. The wide open look here for Perzingis. No good off the back of the rim. Yeah, he's kicking himself. No defenders to be found in that mid-range area. Lowry, good. He's been calling his own number all night, and Lowry's not wrong. He's the one with the hot hand. Here's Doncic. He's got 13. Pulls from the top of the key. Here's Powell. Here's Persingas. Powell trying to free himself up. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. And, and shooting over 90% from the line here today. In this quarter especially. They've been fantastic. Ken Burch has checked in for the Raptors. And then for Dallas. Cauley Stein, he's checked in for Dwight Powell. Richardson comes in for Hardaway. And it's Burke in for Jalen Brunson. Now here's Van Vliet. 12 points for him. He kicks it to Lowry. Pass to Ananobi. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Mavericks leading by five. Stolen by Van Vliet. Lowry passes to Oh, Here he comes. That was amazing. And look Ooh. at the elevation. 
light on his feet, quick off the floor, and showing creativity. OG Ananobi, wow. Now, here's Burke taking a look at his stats. He's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Right at the free throw line. Rebound by the Raptors. To the middle. Here's Birch. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to go on Willie Cauley Stein. It's his first trip to the line. And the first one drops. J.J. Reddick's checked in for Luka Doncic. He makes one of two that time. Dallas has gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Reddick finds Richardson. It's stolen by Lowry. And here we go. Van Vliet heading to the hoop. Amazing effort by Fred Van Vliet. He's up the court so fast to finish that play. And here is Burke. Over to the wing. A three from Porzingis. Boucher with the rebound. There was a mix-up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. Van Vliet kicks to Ananobi. Pass to Lowry. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. And he just seemed to have a little more fire in the first quarter than he has in this one. And it showed in all the trips he made to the free throw line. Those have dried up. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. Already a lot of talk about who's going to take part in the three-point contest this season. And here's a look at the players most likely to make it. And so many great shooters in the NBA these days. And, and these guys, quite frankly, the best of the best. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a scoring record broken in this year's competition. And you look at Hardaway. And at number four on the list, he's almost certain to take part in the contest this year. He's going to be excited to let those long-range shots fly in All-Star Weekend. And the fans have been right to give him so much love. He's deadly from beyond, and he has to be in this contest this season. And we'll keep you posted as we find out more and as we get closer to the three-point contest once we have our final list of official contestants. Yeah, it's going to be very competitive. That, that's the one thing we all know. We've, we've got an incredible group of long-distance shooters in this league right now. And it's Burke with the ball for the Dallas Mavericks. Trailing by two. Now the pass to Persingas. That one falls coming off Burke's feet. And that's 11 points for Persingas. Coming off a scoreless first quarter, he's found a little rhythm here. Lowry passes to Birch. Lowry against Reddick. Yes, that goes in. Lowry's got 11 points in the quarter. Kyle Lowry is a very tough guy for 6-1. He's a guy who loves to attack the inside, even though he's small. Now here's Porzingis. 20 points for him last game against the 76ers in Philadelphia. He owned the glass in that one, too. No one could put a body on him. 
shot. The shot by Lowry, no good. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Fast break, here we go. Trips down the breakaway slam. You have to protect the ball against Fred Van Vliet. On a per-minute basis, he racks up a lot of steals. Mavericks trail by four. Now Burke. Rebound by the Raptors. Van Vliet's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Boucher. And off the front iron. And in it goes. Boucher's got his second bucket of the game to go. The Mavericks shooting 41% from the field in the second quarter up to this point. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Burke. Shot clock at five. Over to the left wing. Here's Persingas. Dallas, no good that time either. And so it's the Toronto Raptors with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside and it's working for them. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Kyle, a good first half for you all. How do you continue that for the rest of the game? We gotta come out with our energy. We gotta come out and play our game and keep going out there and pushing. Our defense and everybody's rotating, so we're playing together right now. We'll see if you stay connected in the second half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime show. Kyle Lowry had a huge first quarter. He had 23 points, two rebounds, and one assist. And taking a look at the Raptors, Kenny, what did you see out there? Well, I love the way they're pushing the tempo, beating the defense down the floor, filling the lanes, finishing with authority, Ernie, getting to the rim, and finishing hard. And Shaq, what do you have to say about the Mavericks? Well, I'll tell you what I saw in the first half, Ernie. Three things. Solve defense. Not enough pressure, but they can still win this game. They need to ramp it up. Is that two or three? Doesn't matter. You understand, Ernie. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Kyle Lowry has just been sensational. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. It's a part of his game that he can always tap into. There's an art to it, and he is painting the canvas tonight. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Van Vliet and Lowry are the one and the two. Then it's OG Ananobi, and it's Trent in at the three. That's Nick Nurse's five as we get into the second half. Now, here's Doncic. Rebound by the Raptors. Ananobi's got his fourth rebound in this one. OG Ananobi out of Indiana. He was the 23rd pick in the 2017 draft. Another great draft selection that day. Slipped due to injuries concerns, but he's been great. Mavericks trail by eight. Now here's Doncic. With the fadeaway. It's rebounded by Ananobi. And Smitty with OG Ananobi. He has a very high ceiling with what he can become. Greg OG Ananobi can impact the game on both sides of the ball, which is fantastic. He's a solid defender, and with the ball in his hands, he's very smart, making good decisions. This team is very excited to see his development. And, guys, the D has to show a little more fight 
on the interior than they did on that trip. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Raptors leading by six. Here's Lowry. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Lowry's got 25 points. Phenomenal concentration by Lowry. He has made a living off getting buckets over physical defense. Right around a minute and a half played here in the third quarter. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. The three for Doncic. And it's Van Vliet with the rebound. Van Vliet's got rebound number five here tonight. And the layup is good. Van Vliet's got the lead up to 10 now for Toronto. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. And so Doncic will bring it up for Dallas. It's intercepted. Now running. Here comes Lowry pushing the ball up. This is what I like about Lowry. Not just looking for his shot, even though he's an excellent scorer. Dallas has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Near the three-point line, it's Doncic. Dallas, no good that time either. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Down low. Floats one up. Porzingis with the block. They push it up. Four on three. Here's Hardaway. Drains the 19-footer. Hardaway has got 17 now. How about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off. Just sensational stuff. Toronto calls timeout. Well, it's a player's league, but certainly coaching has its place. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. Some changes for Toronto. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Ken Birch. Johnson comes in for OG Ananobi. And it's Benbury in for Kyle Lowry. Raptors leading by 10. Van Vliet outside. Pass to the Benbury. Here's Trent. Shoots the three. It's rebounded by Doncic. Doncic has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Got that one up quick. Hardaway has got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the man. For Toronto, they've gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Van Vliet outside. And they pick up two. Van Vliet's got four points in the quarter. And that's ten straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Doncic kicks to Powell. Back to Doncic. Outside, Brzingis. Baines against Brunson. And a missed late. Raptors leading by nine. Here's Trent, and he jams it with authority. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Dallas has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Donchich outside. Up top, Porzingis. They get it again. Here's Powell. Here's Doncic, and at last they get one to fall. And you want more of this from Doncic. He's good at reading shot trajectories. Love his aggressiveness. To the inside, Baines, count it. And the Raptors lead by 11. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Here's Doncic after Toronto picking up the basket just moments ago. Two points. That one goes. Doncic has got 17. And certainly not lacking in confidence. When Doncic gets these inside looks, he just jumps all over. Kicks it to Baines. Launches a three. 
And that one is off. And the Mavericks going the other way now. Fast break, Dallas. Brunson, good. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Here's Trent, 13 points in the game. Here's Baines, right wing, pass to Trent. Fires from deep. A shot that time, not on target. Good D by Hardaway. Doncic dishes to Hardaway. Doncic finds Hardaway. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. These players have been all about defense lately. Here are the steel leaders in the NBA this month. Third is Porzingis. Really been fantastic defensively this run for him. He's had more than his share of steals, and now he's looking to get more. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Hardaway. And the Mavericks with some changes. Dorian Finney-Smith checked in for Powell. And Josh Richardson subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Hardaway hits them both. Toronto leading by five. Van Vliet outside. Pass to Boucher. Off target with his three. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. A beautiful pass to lead his teammate right to the hoop. Here's Hood, and he makes good on the layup. Hood's got nine points. He scores from everywhere. Inside, outside, in between. Hood can fill it up. Mavericks trail by five. Donjic outside. Here's Finney Smith. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Six to shoot. The Raptors have gone 8 of 16 in the third quarter to put their second half shooting percentage right at 50%. Hood can't get it to go. Get that weak stuff out of here. That's embarrassing. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Decent look from mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. Nice shot by Porzingis. Such assertiveness. This is why Porzingis is a go-to option on offense. Never afraid to take a big shot. And the Raptors call time here. And it was interesting how the Dallas franchise sold its fans on Doncic. Ownership told him, think of a 6'7 Steve Nash. Isn't quite the shooter Steve was, but is only a teenager. Great vision. Boy, he can really pass it. And it turns out Doncic is all of that and more. Carly Stein, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Reddick comes in for Tim Hardaway Jr. Here's Bembry. To the left wing. Here's Boucher. And again, Toronto, no luck. And even Nash himself called Doncic a dream prospect. Yeah, it said Luka was big and mobile enough in the modern game, can guard multiple positions, has a skill set, a winning mentality, and those leadership qualities. Steve Nash sounding like a future GM. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. And you can see the mindset he has. When the game's this close, he's going to bring it at that end of the floor. Now here's Hood. Nine points in the game so far. And Vliet right side. A three ball. It's rebounded by Dallas. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Redick passes to Doncic. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. 
You take a look at the Mavericks. They're down in the bottom of the conference. Their fans hope they can turn it around and show some improvement. You know, right now, Dallas, they haven't gotten anywhere near where they want it to be this season. Pretty clear there's a big talent gap between them and the true contenders. And we've all thought this. They're just a middle-of-the-road team. The last thing anyone in the NBA wants to be. Van Vliet kicks to Hood. Goes back up. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to go on Willie Cauley-Stein. Liking how Rodney Hood seeks contact on his shot. Demonstrating once again that he's not going to back down from anyone. These are his third and fourth crucial attempts of the game. And the first one at the line is good. Trey Burks checked in for the Mavericks. Both shots good from the strike. And so it's Burke who brings up the ball for the Mavericks. It's a five-point game. And there's the pass to Finney Smith. Now here's Cauley Stein. Lays it up and banks it in. Cauley Stein's got his second basket of the game. Nice work inside by Carly Stein. Great tools as a finisher. Van Vliet passes to Hood. Back to Van Vliet. And the rejection by Carly Stein. And he gets it back. Hood for three. The offensive rebound. Baines. Yeah, how about the body control on that one? Narrowly misses getting the deuce. This is his first free throw of the game gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season how about over 90 percent throw good Bain OG Ananobi's checked in for Bembry and he makes both free throws Redick with it no points in the game yet for him. Richardson left side. Count it good. You talk about a guy who's added some strength over the years. Look at the hit Josh took, and he was still able to convert. Now here's Van Vliet, Burke covering. Hood, the pass to Boucher. Shoots over Reddick. Nails the baby hook. Boucher's got six points. Unselfish play by Hood. Could take it himself, but finds the open man. Mavericks trail by five. And here is Burke. Passes it to Reddick. Tipped away. Ananobi kicks to Hood. Makes it off the glass. Hood's got six points in the quarter. How about the dribble move from Hood? Leaving the D behind. Dallas has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Oh, 
Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. And now it's a nine-point Raptor lead. And the Mavericks with possession here. Now Reddick. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Jacks up a three. Good on the three-point shot. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. Raptors leading by six. Outside hood. Back to Van Vliet. Payton's trying to get open. Van Vliet's with the bucket. Van Vliet's got 20. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Dallas has gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Now, here's Burke. He's tightly guarded, and it's Toronto with the rebound. Boucher has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Outside Hood. Baines passes to Hood. Coley Stein with the defensive effort. A for effort, but when there's that much resistance at the rim, better find another option. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operator. And the rejection by Cauley Stein. You better come stronger than that. Cauley Stein, a presence defensively. Not just swinging the ball around the perimeter. Aggressive move inside. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's Boucher. Misses off the right iron. And here's Reddick. He'll bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. They trail by six. This is just one of many areas where Reddick has improved. Reading the floor and finding his guys for good quality shots. Raptor shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. Van Vliet outside. One second left. The points coming in bunches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's been a good one. Toronto ahead, leading by four. And time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. On the floor for Dallas starting the fourth quarter here. Willie Cauley-Stein is out there with Powell. Then it's Josh Richardson. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's Reddick in at the two-guard spot. To the middle. And the shot will not go from Ananobi. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. Mavericks trail by four. Now here's Brunson. Outside, Reddick. Off target from three-point range. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. The putback, Baines. It's good on the putback. Oh, big time put back there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. Here's Richardson. Count that one. For a guard, Josh Richardson has all type of length. He is consistently getting to the lane, and he can score. On loads. Here's Cauley Stein, and Cauley Stein throws it down. 
doing his job on the glass and doing it with force. And Greg, it's not everybody in the league who can make those kinds of plays. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second chance opportunities. Dallas making a switch here. Doncic has checked in. throw good Lowry we're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half pass to Powell first minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter here's Doncic down to five on the shot clock and the shot goes in Doncic has got 19 points the defense tried, but Doncic gets through. Luka able to put a smooth release on the shot, despite the contact. Mavericks trail by three. Dallas moving it around. For three, Richardson, they grab their own miss. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Collie Stein, a, a serviceable shooter at the line. Let's see if he can make them count. First free throw is good, and Toronto making a change here. Benbury's checked in, and then for Dallas. Porzingis is checked in for Dwight Powell, and Tim Hardaway Jr. subbed in for Josh Richardson. Only down two now, but that miss might come back to haunt you. If they don't get a stop, it's back to a two-possession game. Dallas has gotten off to an 0-for-2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Trills the three-pointer. Doncic has got nine points now in just the second half. That's his second three-pointer of the night. One in each half. Trying to keep the defense honest. Pass to Birch. Here's Trent. Back to Birch. Inside. Great D that time from Hardaway. The Mavericks have gone 4 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Brunson, good. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. And Zolawi will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. Following this game, they'll hit the road to challenge the Pacers at Pacers Arena in Indianapolis. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Doncic feeling it out. And the three off target. Raptors with the lead. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brunson. That's his third foul of the game. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Fred Van Vliet is checked in for Toronto. Can't get it to go. Nice D from Porzingis. Pass break Dallas. Here's Hardaway. Falls right in. He is 8 for 11 with that shot. There is just no way to tell who is going to pull this one out. When you've had this many lead changes, you're looking to see which one of those plays is going to be a momentum swinger. The drive by Lowry. And the rejection by Coley Stein. The Mavericks, another pass break chance right here. Goes up on the high post. Here's Hardaway. And another basket to his impressive total. It's his ninth against 12 attempts. Also points count just like any others. That's a great play. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the Raptors. On Friday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Indiana, going up against the Pacers. And then on Sunday, they'll be matching up with Al Horford and the Boston Celtics. And you know for that matchup with Oklahoma City, this is one where it would take a complete meltdown for them not to come away with the win. Anything can happen, but I'd be shocked 
if they don't come out on top. Porzingis finds Doncic. And it just seems when Doncic turns it on, it's a sight to see. Incredible at scoring in a variety of ways. There's the pass to Trent. Rebounded by Hardaway. Dallas with the ball. They're on an 18-7 run. And Doncic throws it down. Really, really good possession there. They've never lost their focus, even as the game's gotten tight. With their lead starting to stretch out just a little bit here late, they're in a prime position now to wrap this one up. And you want them taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. And I don't think he expected to get that good of a look. Poor communication defensively. Now, here's Doncic and the foul on Kim Birch. That'll be his second foul of the game. Dwight Powell's checked in for Cauley Stein. Toronto on defense. It's a five point game. Brunson against Van Vliet. Hardaway from outside, and Baines pulls it down. Baines has got rebound number eight now on the night. Van Vliet, and Van Vliet is right there. Van Vliet's got 10 points in just the second half. This is what happens when Fred gets into a rhythm. His whole offensive game rises to another level. Doncic outside, passes it to Persingas over Lowry. Persingas can't hit. In Toronto, they've gone 6 of 13, so just above 46% on their field goal attempts here in the quarter. Trent can't hit. Coming out of halftime, he wanted to start strong, yet the opposite happened. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Mavericks leading by three. Brunson scanning the floor. Here's Doncic. Sinks that one from the post. Doncic has got 28. And already in his career, Doncic displays a remarkable amount of pro moves, including that floater right there. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. Offensive rebound. Baines with the block. Lowry against Doncic. Again with the block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six block. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. And so the ball's out of bounds. Powell touched it last. Boy, if you're the coach, you hate to see that kind of miscommunication between your guys. OG Ananobi's checked in for Ken Birch. Raptors trail by five. Van Vliet passes to Ananobi. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's on Luka Doncic. OG Ananobi had a great start to his college career in Indiana. ACL cut that short, but he's bounced back very fast, and he's already making an impact in this league. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Good on both. Doncic with it. Pass to Powell. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Hardaway from outside. Toronto grabs the miss. Baines has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. That shot off. Good D by Hardaway. He has gone ice cold this quarter. Obviously not helping their cause. He's off on the first. Good on the second free throw. Great job there to make this a two-possession game. And it's Lowry with the ball. Brings it up for the Toronto Raptors. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. It's on Luka Doncic. 
Lowry knows the contact is coming, really demonstrating his strength. The Raptors making a switch here. Boucher is checked in. Free throw drops for Kyle Lowry. The Mavericks leading. Donchich outside. It's blocked. And that'll be Dallas as it goes out of bounds. Mavericks retain possession. Raptors on defense. Porzingis finds Hardaway. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Hardaway with the steal. And now the fans break. Doncic with the ball. Chalk up two there. And we've seen him do this before, just kicking it up to another level here in the fourth. That puts him at 75% shooting in the quarter. Van Vliet against Powell. That's it, and the Dallas lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Van Vliet. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Dallas shooting 47%, pretty solid. Donchich outside. No good from outside. And for the Raptors, they're shooting 47%, pretty solid. Ananobi, good. We've seen some great competition in this one. Yeah, seven already in the game, and I think it shows you how well these two teams match up with one another. Dallas calls timeout. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. And now, let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Fred Van Vliet. And, guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on Rick Carlisle's huddle. He said to them, that's the kind of effort we need to bring every night. We're right in this thing but it's going to take sustained effort to close it out. Now let's bring it home. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Toronto trailing. Porzingis comes with the double team. Ananobi finds Boucher. Back to Ananobi. Takes the three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And you have to credit Ananobi. He's put in the work to become a better playmaker. Dallas shooting at a 46% clip in the fourth quarter. To the paint, here's Hardaway. Leaves it up and in off the pretty assist. Hardaway has got it all tied up now for Dallas. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. It's the fourth quarter, and it's a close game. You want to get the ball to someone you can rely on. Toronto calls timeout. And they're picking up a lot of fouls already in the penalty not a good sign they need to focus on moving their feet and maintaining a good defensive position here's van vliet pass to boucher van vliet against brunson and the bucket is good three-point play chance here for him how about these big shots for him in the fourth. He has been locked and loaded offensively. Trail by three. 
Donchich outside. And here's Boucher. Lowry passes to Trent. Porzingis with the block. They retain possession. The Mavericks shooting 47%, pretty solid. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ananobi. Singus passes to Powell. Shot clock at six. The pass to Brunson. Shoots over Van Vliet. That one a little long. Raptors leading by three. And he uses the glass on the layup. Van Vliet's got 11 points in the quarter. Well, this is what you're trying to do. Put the game away. And he's doing it by getting to his spots and making big shots. Lowry against Doncic. Inside. Brunson finds Porzingis, and that one is good. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Here's Trent following the basket by Kristaps Porzingis. Porzingis comes with the double team. Boucher. Powell pulls it in. Powell's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Runs in the pass to Doncic. And here's Porzingis. Boucher defending. Back to Doncic. Pulls it from the elbow. And that one hits back iron. And for the Raptors, they're shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. Here's Ananobi. No good that time. And the Mavericks going the other way now. And even three on three break. And here's Przingis for a three. Here's Powell. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. That is world class. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. Yeah, big play on the front end to finish despite getting hacked there and big on the back end to hit the free throw. Now, here's Lowry. Trent can't hit. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a two-point ball game. And that's big there. Once he got the opportunity to get to the line and take the lead, you have got to convert. And the Mavericks call time here. They're behind by two. 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Yeah, and looking at how much time they have, I think it's likely we'll see them try to get a good look and score quickly. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for the Raptors. 30 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Doncic from the arc. And Baines pulls it down. Man, at what point do you blame the play calling more than the player? You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. Tremendous showing of confidence by getting those two to fall. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. On the wing, Hardaway. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. Mm -hmm. 
gets the first and that puts them up by five and he hits both free throws here so now it's a six point ball game productive trip to the line extended their lead 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one Doncic bounce back Brunson kicks to Hardaway and it's off from three-point range and that's an intentional foul at a seven-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's an eight-point game. And so it's the Raptors winning this one. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Kyle, congrats on the win. What did you guys want to accomplish and get this win? Uh, everybody played. Uh, we all played together. You know, uh, we, we stayed, you know, aggressive and stayed, stayed the course of the game. Thanks again, Kyle. Congrats on the win. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. See you next time.